G'day guys, welcome back to part three of the blue and copper ring pull. So, I've got my five different rings there, all with shades of, well, all with colours of navy, blue, copper, aqua and white. If you want to see how they were mixed, watch part one. If you want to see how I poured the rings, watch part two. This is part three. This is the exciting part, the tilting. Oh, it's very heavy. Three kilos of paint on here. Paint and flow troll. So you can see where the rings have joined. It makes that line. And that's the line that we want to continue down and become our separator between each ring. A few cells popping up. And that's because of the flow troll. the other way. I'm losing too much over the edge here. Must have had more paint in these two cups because the paint's moving faster the other rings so I must have had a bit more paint in there. I'm going to have to try and fill this gap with some leftover paint if I've got any. to tilt too much. That's why you should always have more paint than what you think you're going to need. I did make more paint. Three litres are made up. Just to be on the safe side. I'm just going to put some white in here just to encourage the paint to flow. And hopefully it will all just fall off the canvas. But the weight of it will just help the other paint to flow off. And I'll do the same here, put some white here. I always have extra white made up. Just in case. It's a big canvas, it does take a lot of paint. liked more colour on the corners but I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm going to end up with white corners. Spread that out. And that will just help our paint Move a little bit over the corners, pop a bit more here, smooth that out, where else do we need it, a little bit here. I could pick up the blue off the table, but I'm hoping it's going to go over the edge anyway so you won't see too much of the white. Probably will just see it on the edges here, but that's okay. It's difficult to cover a, a square with a circle. A little bit more here, and then I'll tilt again. Okay. Really pretty. Actually, I'll go 
this way because we've got more to cover on that side. Off we go. this along. It's getting stuck on the white. That's what happens if your white's a little bit thicker than your other colours. It gets stuck. Your paint gets stuck behind it. White creates a little wall and your paint can't get over it. I'm going to try and make sure that your white is maybe a little bit thinner than your other colours. This should all go off the canvas though, so you shouldn't see that with any luck. It should all go over the edge. You won't see my fingerprints. Need that last little bit up there to go over. Which it has. Okay, try not to touch the sides, so I'll just put my fingers underneath. We'll go back the other way. See if I can get that last little edge there on the bottom to get covered. It's quite thick this paint so it's moving slowly. Taking its time. Come on paint, over you go. There it goes in the middle, how about the edge? It's not going to quite make the edge the corner. I'll just have to touch that up with white, I think. Go back the other way just to centre it a bit. Okay, we're done. Doesn't look too bad on the edges. Kind of looks as if it's supposed to be there. Not ideal, but do the best you can. So, what do you think of that one? I quite like it. Got a lot of copper in here, a lot of aqua in there, a lot of blue in there, more aqua there. So each one's a little bit different, which is very nice. You don't want them all to be the same. So that's really pretty. I'm happy with that. Next time, more paint. Even more than three litres, I guess. But uh, yeah, good. Um, a few little cells popping up here and there. That's probably because of the silicon spray that I used in the cup and also the movement of the paint. Um, it will also create cells. But um, yeah, happy with that one. Hope you enjoyed those three videos. Sorry it was a bit long. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.